Hi traders, welcome to daily forex analysis by Trade with Asim and Sajjad. Let's see what we have in economic calendar for tomorrow. Early morning at 3.30 GMT we have a Reserve Bank of Australia interest rate decision and also rate statement. They are not going for rate hike but we can still expect some huge volatility in all Australian pairs. Then we have some medium impact news events for Euro, Canadian dollar and New Zealand dollar. At 15 GMT we have a job opening for US dollar. This is high impact news and we can expect some rallies in all US pairs. Then near the end of the day at 21.45 GMT for New Zealand dollar we have employment change. Hopefully it's going to give some strength to New Zealand dollar and we can expect some bigger spikes in all the New Zealand pairs. So good luck guys, uh, let's move to dollar index. After the weekend, dollar index opened with a gap down, but soon it recovered the losses. Later on, it went sideways, but in the US session, we have seen this bigger drop. Currently, it's at 96.26. For tomorrow, I'm expecting it can drop to 95.96 and below. We will see how it looks on the daily time frame. On the daily time frame, we can see it's indicating for a further drop. In the coming days, we can expect it can drop below 95.0. Let's move to Euro USD. Today, most of the major forex pairs were moving sideways, but in the US session, we saw Euro USD bounce back. Currently, it's at 1.1420. For tomorrow, I'm targeting at 1.1456. After then, it can go for a correction, but in the longer run, I'm looking at 1.1600 and above. If we can have a look at our daily time frame, on Thursday we saw this uh, strong bullish candle but then on Friday after NFP it dropped back again. Today it recovered most of the losses it made on Friday and for the next few days I am seeing a bullish continuation of the trend. It can target 1.1600 and above. We move to GBPUSD. This morning GBPUSD opened with a gap up. Most of the traders were looking at 1.3122 straight away but then it started dropping down. It moved sideways later but uh, currently it's looking very strong again. And for tomorrow 1.3122 looks a very easy target. While in the coming days it can close above 1.330. We will see it on daily time frame. And here it's very clear on Wednesday it started reversing back only on Friday it dropped. But right now it's getting bullish momentum and in the next few days we are going to see it can break above this key resistance level of 1.3260. I'm bullish on GBP USD pair and I'm hoping it will close above 1.330 in the coming week. We move to USD CAD. Today we didn't see any significant movement in USD CAD pair though it dropped for a while but later it recovered and currently it's still going nowhere. Tomorrow it can simply continue to move sideways or it can start dropping down. If it starts dropping down the initial support is at 1.3050 and if it breaks this level then it's heading to 1.3010 and below. We will check it on daily time frame. On the daily time frame too we don't see any clear direction though it's slightly bullish but it can start dropping down anytime and the next level can be 1.3010. We move to gold from here. Gold is also moving sideways since Friday morning and we don't see any clear direction. We are seeing some indecision, buyers are not ready to buy and sellers are also hesitating. So, but sooner or later we are going to see a significant move either up or down but most probably it's going up. While if it drops and closes below 1226 then it's heading to 1220 and below. Even on the daily time frame, we can see it's stuck between 100 and 200 moving averages. If it closes above 200 moving average, then it's going for a very big correction. On the other hand, if it closes below 100 moving average, then it's heading to 1214 and much below level. We move to NASDAQ 100. Today, we also didn't see much movement in NASDAQ 100. Currently, it's at minor support level. If NASDAQ 100 breaks below 6800, then it's heading to 6697 and much below. While if it closes above 100 and 200 moving averages, then it's heading to 7122 and much above. We will also see how it looks on the daily time frame. 
on the daily time frame it's a clear rejection it should drop below 6697 but in case of pullback it can again target 7400 and above so guys that's all about our today's analysis thank you very much for watching please subscribe to our youtube channel if you haven't subscribed yet and press the bell icon so you can get all the updates take care of yourself and your trades i will see you again with a new video